Hello, I'm uh, going to be playing at the computer, listen to trans music, and also listen to Sam Shamoon talk about the irrational teachings of Muhammad. Okay. And uh, I'm going to be black, the computer is going to be white. I'll go back a little bit for, go back a little bit for Sam Shamoon. Okay, here it goes. Hadith, meaning sound without dispute. Where Muhammad, whom no one knows the Quran better than him, right? No. Does Shabir Ali know the Quran better than Muhammad? No. Shabir Ali. What about that, Jamal Badawi? No. None of these guys? No. So when these taqiyas, meaning de deceivers and concealers, come and say, well, it doesn't mean that the Arabic means this. But then their prophet says, no, the sun actually physically sets in a spring of water. If I'm a Muslim, who, whose opinion am I supposed to hold? There's the Muhammad. Obeying Muhammad is obeying Allah. Didn't you quote that? Yeah, we you quoted that. We did that in the last show. But hold on, hold on. But if I hold on to what Muhammad said, then this is a clear scientific blunder, a gross scientific mistake, because the sun is much bigger than the earth, and if the sun were to get that close to the earth, it would burn it up. Well, that tells you what Muhammad thought of. For one, Earth has to be flat. Yes. Because if you can find the, the place where the, the sun goes down into <laughs> on the earth and you can see the place where it comes up out of the earth, then that means the earth has to be one giant plane. And the Quran confirms that. Chapter 88, verse 20 says, Have they not seen how we flatten the earth, made the earth flat? Mm -hmm. Chapter 88, verse 20. So right there, you're right. The Quran agrees. Go on. Number two, and then what's okay. number two? Remember, he's the prophet, right? Yes. He explained it this way, right? Then the, the universe is made up of one large plane, which is the earth. Um, above it is the sky that we see with all the heavenly bodies, with the moon and the, and the sun, and the, and the sun, and I think I'm going to assume the moon. They're okay. both intelligent beings. You can speak and bow down and perform actions yes. and worship Allah. I guess the stars, they do that also. And then above them is Allah's throne. That's the roof of the universe. And there's four pillars being held up by gigantic angels. <laughs> but wait, come on. These are information beyond our understanding. It has to do with the realm of the earth. And only unlawful questions are right. How dare you question them? But I'm told constantly by most of them, all the scientific evidence of the Quran. So, so it can't be both ways. You got it. You get science, it. You're saying <laughs> if science is good enough to prove the Quran, then science is good enough to falsify. Exactly. But notice how Muslims operate. When the Quran seems to agree with science, you can use it. But when science clearly proves that the Quran is an error and that Muhammad made major blunders, you can no longer use science because Muhammad is speaking of the realm of the unseen, a realm that even scientists don't know much about. In fact, they don't know anything about it unless they're but, prophets. But we, can't we see at least one? We can't see the whole entire universe, but we can see our solar system. You got it, yeah. We can see up to the past the sun. Mystery. As Muslims who are into Dawah, mockingly and laughing say about us, is that about the sun you get down? Mockingly and blasphemously. So we say that God's nature is a mystery to our human mind. Is that how it can be try you and then so forth? They say, no, no, no. They bring it down a little couple of levels to the creation. Yeah, no, not, not, not that God's nature is a mystery, but the sun and the makeup of the, of the solar system. That's the mystery. And obviously understand. we don't know much about the universe, but what we do know is this, definitely. The sun does not travel to any throne, nor does it set any place on the earth. That we know for a fact. Because if it did, we'd see it now, right? Yeah. You got it. <laughs> because the sun is a perfectly distance of 93 million miles away. Any closer, it would scorch us. Any further, we'd freeze. Yeah. Imagine the sun getting that close. Well, you know what? Again, this, these are some evidences proving that the Quran and the Sunnah are full of errors, irreconcilable errors with history and science. Therefore, Muhammad can't be a prophet. What about history? I mean, you just... Dulkarnain. Dulkarnain. Elizan, the son of Zeus. Hold on, hold on. You, 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 disbeliever. you disbeliever. You're going to tell me that you're going to take the word of historians over the word but, of the Quran? But Quran's supposed to confirm history and science. Especially when in chapter 1883 he's responding to a question from people who know the story and identity of Bukhari. But Muhammad didn't realize.